What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about how the talks and the feedback um, that I myself gave and other creators gave um, to the Niantic Task Force uh, late last week and earlier this week. Um, and I'm sure you guys have seen already um, but Pokemon Go has officially announced that um, the spin distance for stops will go back to 80 meters instead of 40, which is fantastic for us. And they're going to be updating us um, with more news on September 1st about how the talks went and their plans going forward. Now, when it comes um, to this, I'm very happy for that, but I want you guys to understand that I'm still steadfast um, in being free to play until I personally see a consistent historical record um, of Niantic and the Pokemon Go game getting quality of life updates and fixing outstanding issues that have been prevalent in the game for years. I think there's a lot um, that they can fix and address and need to. Um, and once I start seeing them actually doing that, then I'm happy to kind of buy back in and start doing more raids and stuff like that. Today we're going to talk about what I said to Niantic. That way you guys know as a myself as a representative um, of the PvP community um, and the overall Pokemon Go community in general, what I said to them um, in terms of feedback. Now when it comes to the feedback um, that creators gave, there was a lot of variety um, and I think the team overall is the the leaders of the community basically that Niantic decided to talk to did a great job at covering all the bases and we all came from different angles providing quality feedback um, such as addressing communication um, such as addressing like events and tactics kind of like trainer tips was saying with um, the monetization tactics that they have or quality of life updates etc the list was vast um, and in depth but what I specifically wanted to cover um, with my time with with them was talking about things that have been in the game for a long time that have either been addressed and the quality of life was improved um, or that haven't been and I wanted to provide dual examples to them one that was a good example and that one that was a bad example on multiple different avenues that way they could see that they could apply the good example to the bad example um, in order to improve the game um, bring quality of life and fix outstanding issues so the first thing that I addressed was talking about cosmetics. As you guys can see, I am dripped head to toe in Team Instinct swag. I absolutely love the customization that we have here. As you can see, I got shoes, poses, glasses, masks, tops, bags, gloves, bottoms, socks, footwear. This is fantastic. Being able to customize your own character is an expression of yourself and how you want to look inside the game. And I think they've done a great job at that. But one thing that they haven't addressed since the beginning of the game has been hair. We haven't had the ability to change our hairstyle since the game has come out. The only thing we can do to hair is change the color of it. And I think it's definitely a quality of life update that needs to be brought to the game. Um, considering the amount of stuff we can actually do when it comes to a customization of our character, adding haircuts is very simple and I think it's definitely needed and it's, it's been needed since the game came out. That was the first feedback I gave them. The next thing um, is going to be um, when it comes to uh, powering up Pokemon. They have done a fantastic job, and we'll go ahead and take a look here. For those of you who don't know, somewhat recently, I don't remember the exact date, but it, it was somewhat recently within the last year or two, they changed how we power up our Pokemon. How it used to be um, is you click on the power up button, and it did it one time time but what they've done now is they've allowed us to do this scaling thing where we don't waste a lot of time powering up each individual half level um, imagine trying to do that to 50 it's absolutely ridiculous that would be 100 power-ups if you have a level one right so this quality of life update was fantastic that they brought to the game and another area they could bring this to is going to be using your items such as star pieces, um, incense, and lucky eggs. Whenever you guys start an event, whatever that's community day, go fest, your outing for the night, whatever it is, when you want to put down your resources such as a lucky egg, you can only do it one at a time. And this is very time consuming when you go through and click on each individual lucky egg to start stacking them up. This could be easily resolved with the same method that powering up Pokemon has where you can just choose how many eggs, how many star pieces, how much incense you want to use to drop it. That way it's a nice smooth get into the game at the start of the event method. So that was number two. The second thing 
um, is go battle league, right? I, I, I brought up and I smiled and I said, I, I, I'm sure you guys know that I'm a creator in go battle league and there have been a lot of outstanding issues and they do have a web page that addresses the issues that they know in game that they're working on. And I think that has taken a while, um, to be fair, since go battle league has come out, there have been a lot of issues inside the game that haven't been fully fixed or they've been fixed and it's caused other issues in the game. So I said, I think there needs to be a lot more attention and love given to the quality of go battle league and the servers themselves um and they they acknowledge that which is good but a, a small quality of life that i wanted to bring an example for um and thankfully this morning i went 4-1 in my set so i can do this for you guys that is going to be claiming a pokemon i don't know if you guys um have had this happen to you i've had it happen to me my wife has had it happen to me and i've seen countless members of the community let's say we get a legendary pokemon i don't know i haven't clicked on this yet but let's say we get a legendary pokemon this time we get a gibble that would have been cool if it's shiny when we let's say we run out of pokeballs right i don't have a lot but when it comes to the catch um rate of legendary pokemon because we can get them in go battle league uh, it's very um, low, meaning it takes a lot of resources, a lot of Ultra Balls, Golden Raspberries, etc. to catch those Pokemon. And sometimes you run out, especially after events like Go Fest or Go Battle or, um, uh, Community Days. Um, and what we can't do is store it for later. As you can see, if I want to do another set of battles, I have to catch this and I might run out of Pokeballs. So the suggestion I gave is something that's already in game. And that is going to be going to the field research. Whenever you, if I want to claim this reward right here, I can claim it. Cool. It's an Eevee right there. I can run. And now I can still go out and play the game, spin Pokestops, and get more tasks to complete because the claim reward when it comes to catching the Pokemon is right above. And that's a very small quality of life update that can be brought to Go Battle League with a feature that is already in the game. Now, the final um, feedback that I gave them um, was talking about raids. Actually, we have 48 seconds. We'll have to click on this. Um, raids have been in the game for a long time, but the biggest, one of the biggest issues, not only with the performance of it, um, as you guys will know, um, for those who raid a lot, but it's this lobby timer. This is absolutely ridiculous. I do appreciate the two minute lobby. So it allows my friends and community members to get into the fight with me. But once we're already in there, we would love a ready button, a button that we can click letting the game know that we are ready for battle. Let's get into the raid because what it currently does right now is it guarantees that I will be wasting two minutes for every single raid sitting there waiting to go in. This is very um, adds a lot of complications when it comes to Wednesday raid hours because you already have your community group. You already have your set members. And if there's a team of eight or ten rolling around, we can't do as many raids as we want to because of the lobby timer this is very advantageous for niantic to fix because if they allow that button to come in for us to instantly queue into a raid we then will probably spend more money to do more raids because there is no more wasting our time with a two minute lobby it's a small quality of life update that not only um, gives us great a better experience i should say but it also could bring in more revenue so it's very advantageous for niantic to do that um, and that's basically, everyone, the examples that I gave to them. I know there are a lot of other stuff. I have seen you guys provide so much feedback to me, whether that was on YouTube, Discord, or Twitter. Um, but I, and I let them know that I have, you know, I could pull them a lot of feedback if they want to reference through what you guys have been wanting or what you guys think needs fixed. But what I wanted to do for them is not only um, thank them for stuff that they have done, like the cosmetics um, and the instant power-ups with Pokemon and the, um, what was the other one, the uh, task things here, but also show them that they can apply those things to other areas that we actually care about. Um, and I think that's one of the biggest things for me. I know Trainer Tips was really emphasizing on the monetization part, which is also huge, and I agree with him. Um, but I really wanted to focus on the issues at hand that are in game um, and the quality of life updates that need to be brought in because ultimately we were at this task force meeting because of the spin distance for Pokestops. They gave us a quality of life update when it comes to um, increasing it from 40 to 80 and then they took it away back to 40. Let's forget about COVID um, effects on it and just look at the actual application of gameplay. 
So that triggered a fire that ignited the whole community because we wanna see more quality of life. We don't want them to give us quality of life and then take it away, right? So that was the feedback that I gave them and I want you guys all to know that I felt heard. I felt that they acknowledged everything that I said, that they understood and they actually heard me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's kind of short, but I just wanted to, actually it's not kind of short, looking over there it's probably about 10 minutes. Um, but I just want to let you guys know kind of what went down. I'm not allowed to say what they said or who I talked to, um, but just know I, I saw other creators in the community in this um, conference call basically um, and that I provided feedback in areas that I felt was very important that's outstanding issues in the game with go battle league um, and then quality of life updates that they can bring as I showed examples for you guys there so that they can see uh, yes this can be applied to this area as well which benefits everyone who plays in Niantic themselves because they could probably make some more money right um, so that was that was basically um, what happened now when it comes to September 1st we're gonna have to find out what happens then but I'm very hopeful because I definitely felt heard um, and I felt that the feedback that I gave um, was acknowledged and and you know digested by the Niantic task force so I um, just want to give a shout out to those who listened to me in the in the call from Niantic thank you for your time and thank you for listening to my feedback and I look forward to what you guys have to say so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one